Good morning, good morning, Lincoln Mitchell. Um, let's talk about trading it. Damn it, I'm missing one of these trades right here, man. That thing's gonna hit my damn line. Didn't give me a pullback enough, so um, damn, all these things are hitting my prices, people. Um, let's get into it. 90-90 rule. 90% of the traders will lose 90% of their capital within 90 days. Let's repeat it. 90% of the traders will lose 90% of their capital within 90 days. I'm going to break it down on some of the reasons why this happens. The main reason is a lot of people were told it was easy. And you come in, you come in this game with the expectations of thinking it's easy, and it's not. Um, trading is very hard. It's, it's a lot of understanding to it. Um, so when you come into a situation, somebody says, oh, this is easy. You think it's always going to be easy. They tell you to buy low, sell high. That's not true, people. That's not true at all. And that's the reason why most of y'all start to feel out, out the gate because you have that concept, the, um, that misconception in your mind. Uh, get rich quick. Everybody hears this. Y'all think that it's, it's, oh, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be able to quit my job Tuesday. And I'm going to go there. I, I, I actually fell for this one, you know, um, when I first, you know, learned a little bit about trade. And I did some really good trades. And this is back in like 2006, somewhere around that vicinity. And hell, I went in and put a damn leave of absence. And then the very next day I had a, like a, well, the very next day I had like a $300 gain. So I knew I was on the right track. And I was doing what everybody else said, buy low and sell high. And, and I was trading the opening. Well, that, the very next day. I tried that crap and lost a thousand dollars within them maybe five or ten minutes tops. And I said, hell, I had to go back to my job. So that's not true either, people. This one kills me, people. Uh this one right here, I think, takes more victims than everybody because you hear everybody say, I can teach you a strategy in 15 minutes. It can't, it, it just doesn't happen, people. The last one is going to explain everything in a nutshell, the last number. Um it's not going to happen, people. It, it, there's no such thing as a simple strategy, man. If it was a simple strategy, don't you think they would teach your, their family members, their cousins, their brothers? Why would I teach a stranger a simple strategy? It, that, that's not how it happens, people. If it, was, if it was that simple, you know, ask them why are they even selling it? You know what I'm saying? You don't see none of the damn, you don't see Warren Buffett telling you what he's trading tomorrow. You don't see um, Bill Gates telling you the next Apple product he's working on. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, next Microsoft product that he's working on. You don't hear, well, he passed uh, Steve Jobs. I really like Steve Jobs. Um, the learning curve, people. The learning curve is just so devastating in this game. This is this one. I should have put these in order on weight, but I didn't. The learning curve in this game is just ridiculous, people. To be able to learn this is one thing. You know what I'm saying? To be able to. I mean, truly learn it. <laughs> it is hard. So that's what kills number three. It's no simple strategy because the learning curve is just impossible. It's 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 hard. You know, I remember a guy was speaking about he had went to all these colleges and did all these universities. And he'd never seen nothing like trading before. So the learning curve is just so, so hard. Next thing, now we're starting to get into the, uh, you know, advanced levels. Your discipline. To be able to stick to it, just like that trade I just told you. Um... Just like this, I know these are going to hit these lines, as you see, they're hitting all my lines. And I'm missing trades, but I have to be disciplined on it. You know, this was the trade I've been waiting on for a while, but I have to be disciplined. I, I want to get it. I don't want to pay this high of a price. I'd rather it come back right here, and then I will pay it. And then look at the time. So I'm running out of time. So even if I was to take this trade anytime soon... I have less than, I don't trade openings, and that's where that discipline comes in. I have less than 18 minutes to be in and out of that trade in a profit, or to be able to scale it out in a profit. So, <clears throat> that's where that discipline comes about. Just like this line, you know, I'm pretty sure these lines didn't hit when we first start looking at them. But just like those lines right there, you know, oh, man, you have to be disciplined. Um, this is a good price, too, if you're looking at this video. Let's get back to it. That discipline is major, people, because even though I see that trade going up there like that, and I know it's going to hit that line. I know it is. You have to try to get a better price. I don't want to pay, you know, 27.90s 
when I know I can get it for probably 2770s and if it don't, I just miss the trade. You have to stay disciplined on what you're doing. Risk management. <laughs> that trade is another thing that falls right behind discipline. And that's where the risk management come in. I don't want to take that trade right now, people. I would love to, but what if the risk come way down here? Now I'm getting more exposure to the market. I'm already negative and I'm not going to make as much. So if I come down here, I know this line would be the last, even if it spiked down, that would be the last hole it would go to before it goes back up or so forth. So that risk management is very, very important, especially when you're talking about money. I'm a very, very good trader, but there's one problem I have, and that falls under risk management, which is I'm always over leveraging. I, I, I over leverage damn near everything. <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't miss that much. So when I go into trades, Sometimes I would go way too heavy into these trades and and then that thing pulls back with that risk management and it scares the hell out of me. And I'm like, damn, I'm down fifteen hundred damn dollars in, you know, less than an hour. So now I start to panic a little bit because I got to learn to take it slow and be able to watch that money and what I'm going to put in. So instead of me putting up, you know, seven, eight contracts, I need to put up one or two and let it go back. But then it pisses me off because I'm not making as much. You know, and I'm like, I told you I was writing and the damn trade still hit and I didn't make as much. So that risk management is, is, is a very vital part to it. Number seven. Following in, I guess this one should have been up near the top. Like I said, I didn't do it by weight. Um, following and listen to everyone. Bitcoin comes out. All y'all people jump out there and go crazy. Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. And y'all just jumped on it for any little reason. People. Don't do that. Hold on one second here. Oh, never mind. I'm not. I'm, I'm caught. I'm about to take a trade. <laughs> uh, people, don't do that. If Bitcoin comes out, it comes out. Who cares? Who cares? You know, um, y'all. If somebody tells you to do this, y'all do it, and then you get scammed. Or people follow what you know in this market. You know, stop listening to everybody. Stop jumping on the bandwagon, man. The last one, I think it's in a nutshell. And somebody gonna say learning and understanding. No, they're two different. You know, you know how to drive a car, but do you know how to drift it? You know how to ride a bicycle, but can you pop a wheelie? Understanding to me is the biggest thing because I think understanding the market would knock out every last one of these things, including discipline, risk management, and so forth. Just like that trade I just told you. See, it's pulling back. Didn't I just tell you? See, that's what I'm telling you. Understanding the market and what's going on to me is the most important thing. Everybody know I'm a big fanatic of SPY. Ask me, do I trade it? Not one of y'all see SPY nowhere on the screen. And that's another thing I should have mentioned was y'all get stuck and listen to everybody on one pair of stock. Don't do that. I love SPY. Futures have showed me way more profits. So I'm stuck with futures. Now somebody will say, well, ES and SPY, same thing, which is hypothetically true. But the money and the average and the cert, it, it got a lot of different little perks, but they kind of move identical. You know what I'm saying? So you can use them for a correlation. Um, but understanding to market to me, if once you understand it, you will understand why I didn't take those trades. You will understand why I'm not taking a trade around uh, opening session. You will understand how the simple strategy doesn't exist. You will understand it's not easy. You will understand that there's no quick, you know, get rich quick. Do you understand the learning curve? You will definitely understand discipline, understand risk management. You damn sure will understand never to listen to one in this game. Understanding the market to me is the most vital thing because once you understand what's going on, then you will start to say, like, man, Lincoln was right, man. This thing is really starting to get down into these 70s. See, there, I'm at 85 now. So it's getting real close to where I could enter. But I'm still watching. I'm still watching. You know, because I'm running out of time. And I'm, I'm going to pass up on it. I'm going to miss the trade. But this one is the best trade, believe it or not. And that is the whole key to this, people. It's understanding what's going on. All right? Lincoln Mitchell.